so welcome back to another week of Hits the Tea and we are ready to dig into this box right here. At him. So this week's sponsor is from Splatter. They do a lot of cheese platters, dessert platters, fruit platters, and they gave us a one of their brand new Christmas platters to try. So I know, actually I think this is not even available online yet, but you can go check out their Instagram. I'm gonna link it down below. This is the chocolate berry, and I wanted to show you before I opened it because it's so cute. Ta-da! So this Platter is basically a lot of chocolate, a lot of berries, you know, to keep that balance since we've been having desserts every week. Now we get some fruit and they smell amazing. Mm. Problem is, what to try first? So let's start off with some movie news. Spider-Man 3. Jamie Foxx actually teased his return as the villain Electro with a poster that teased three Spider-Mans in the next movie. And I think fans can officially start freaking out because it looks like it's confirmed. Okay, we don't have an official confirmation yet, but all signs point to it happening, okay? Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, even Kirsten Dunst is rumored to be returning as Mary Jane and also Dr. Otto Octopus as well is supposed to be making a comeback and the stone might come back depending on how her pregnancy is at the time but it looks like it's gonna be epic just like this brownie that I'm about to try first on this is a fudgy chocolate brownies topped with crunchy roasted nuts so I love brownies mm, really good and if you like the Kingsman movies well buckle up because there are apparently about seven more movies and a whole TV series to come out of the Kingsman movies now we're still waiting for the Kingsman which um, got delayed because of the whole pandemic and everything but if they are gonna give us so many movies as long as Eggsy is in it like I have no complaints just saying okay I think this is the classic French Hanale pastry with caramelized crust and custard center. I'm not sure how to eat it. This is not gonna be graceful. When is anything I do graceful, right? So. Mm. Ooh. I like this. This is good. And if you love to dance well, you could be on your way to becoming an Olympian. Yep. They've actually officially added breakdancing into the Paris 2024 Olympics. So if you are a breakdancer, what are you waiting for? Go and practice your moves. You could totally represent Malaysia. Like, it's an actual possibility. I'm so excited for you. Just like I am excited for all these berries that are in here. I love raspberries, blueberries, there's strawberries, there's red currants, all so fresh, all so juicy. Loving it. And there's also like Swiss sea salt dark chocolate, which I think is this and there's also artisan raspberry chocolate bonbons which i'm not going to pretend to know which they are but we do know one thing and that this is the cherry peppermint brownie chips and i love brownie chips because i love brownies so uh-huh the peppermint is strong and of course 2020 tiktok was so huge and now there's an official top 10 list of the most used songs on the app at number three it's relationship with young thug featuring future that song got used for 33 million videos at number two it's actually making southeast asia proud because it's an indonesian song it's a remix cover of the original it's called bagakan langit well originally it's by portrait but now it's the cover is by karin used 35 million times and at number one you know it. It's called Lax Siren Beat by Josh685. You probably know it from hits as the Jason Derulo remix called Savage Love. That one's been used 55 million times. That is insane. Okay, honestly, that was my favorite chocolate, the Flake um, Chocolate Logs Love. And I'm about to try this pretzel as well because I love pretzels. So everyone's favorite meteor shower is coming back. December 13th and 14th is when it peaks. It's the Geminids. Meteor shower? I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Geminids. It's usually the easiest meteor shower to spot. Lights up the sky almost every year around the same time. But saying that, I've never actually got to see it because the two times that I actually tried to go somewhere dark to watch it, it actually rained, so I was really upset. So fingers crossed for this year because even the moon won't be blocking the light. I think it's a new moon. And if you want to see it, look up. Okay, download a star app. I've got this on my phone as well. Download a star app and then you can look for the constellation Gemini. And then and you look towards that just after sunset on the 13th up until dawn on the 14th and you should be able to see about 150 meteors light up the sky every single hour it sounds amazing i'm gonna try so if you go, go and do it and you see it and you take photos make sure to tag me okay 
And of course, biggest news of the week, Taylor Swift surprised us all when she dropped her ninth studio album, it's called Evermore. She also dropped the lead single called Willow, the music video, she looks so good. I like how it starts off as if it's like a continuation to the music video for Cardigan because Evermore is the sister album to Folklore. And that line though, come back stronger than a 90s trend, yeah. She's coming to slay. And that's it for all the tea that we have this week. If I miss out on anything, as usual, drop it down in the comments below. I know there are things I must have missed out, but this was so good. If you want to check them out, I've linked them down below. They're called Splatter. I think their Instagram name is Splatter Me. Um, they've also got these festive sugar cookies, which are super, super cute. And they've got little candy canes as well. They've got candy canes as well. So it's super cute. If you want to give this to someone for Christmas, you want to get it ready for your own Christmas party, definitely recommend this. And I will see you next week. <laughs>